Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to use Power Automate Desktop to rename a large number of Excel files automatically. Now, I have to say before this video starts that I am not a Power Automate developer. I'm simply a business user who has used Power Automate and Power Automate Desktop to automate a lot of my daily day-to-day -day work. So in this particular example, we're going to delve straight in and look at the problem we're facing. So you can see here, I have 20 separate Excel files. Now, let's say for example, I work for a company that sells mountain bike parts. There are four sales areas, north, east, south, and west, and each of the sales managers is required to provide an Excel spreadsheet where they're set with their sales figures in month by month. Now, even though each of these Excel spreadsheets have different file names, the contents of each spreadsheet are laid out exactly the same. So if we go into the first one up at the top here, I can see I've got the sales figures heading, I've got the area they relate to, and also the month relate to, and I've got the individual sales figures for each item in here. If I close that down and go to the next one, I can see that it's pretty much the same. The only thing that's different is the area and potentially the date on which these sales figures are attributed to. So what I want to do is because these names are sometimes meaningless to me, I want to be able to read the contents of cell number A3. So I can see that cell A3 relates to the region and the time period of the sales. And I want to use cell A3 to rename the individual files. So let's take a look at how we can do that in Power Automate Desktop. The first thing I'm going to do is open up Power Automate and click on New flow. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new flow and I'm going to call that rename cell sales files and click the create button there. So Power Automate then opens a new window that will allow me to start creating my new routine. So the first thing I need to tell Power Automate is where to look for all these Excel files that I'm going to rename. And to do that, I'm going to use an action. Now, the action I want here is called get files in folder. So if I search on get files in the top left hand corner, I can see the get files in folder action. And I'm simply going to drag and drop that across to my main automation window. At this stage, Power Automate simply wants to know where these files are stored. So if I click on the folder icon here on the right hand side and navigate to the location of the sales figures, click on the folder, click OK, and then click Save. There's nothing else I need to do as part of that action. Um, it has automatically created a new variable. A variable is essentially a placeholder where we can store a value. So it's going to store all my files into the variable files. Now, we're obviously wanting to rename each Excel file in turn. So what we have to do is we have to tell Power Automate that for every action, it needs to perform it on each file in turn. To do that, we're going to use what's called a loop. It is what it says on the TIM. Essentially, it's a routine that will loop through or go through each file in turn and perform that rename action on them. Now, the specific loop that we're looking for is what we call the for each loop. Essentially, we're saying for each file, I want to perform these actions and then go on to the next file and do the same thing again. So if I simply drag and drop the for each loop action across to my main window, I then need to tell which value to iterate. 
in other words, which value is going to change every time I perform the action? Well, of course, that's going to be the file. So if I click on the small x over here on the right hand side in the curly brackets, that is my variables icon or variables selector. And the variable I want is essentially the files, the list of files that I've already told Power Automate where to look. So it's going to go to each file in my folder. And each time it comes across one of those files, it's going to store that file into the current item variable. Now, I'm going to make that a little bit easier to follow. Instead of calling it current item, I'm going to call that current file. So I can simply click into that variable, rename it, and click on save. So I can see here that I've got the beginning of my loop. So for each current file in this folder, store that starting again. I can see here that I now have the beginning of my for each loop. So what it's saying here so far is for each file in the files folder, perform a series of actions. What we'll do now is we'll go on and specify what those actions should be. Now, going back to what we were speaking about earlier, we were saying that we want to rename each of those Excel files based on the contents of cell A3 in each spreadsheet. Because this is Excel based, the first thing I need to do is I need to launch up Excel. So if I choose the launch Excel action and drag and drop that into my window, the first thing it asks me is to select what I want to do once Excel is launched. If I click on the drop down here, I want to specify that I need to open an Excel file and it's asking me which file that should be. So again, it's going to be the current file that the loop is looking at. Um, there is an option to make the instance available. So it's talking here about the, the instance of Excel. So each time Excel launches up, that's called an instance. And it's saying here, do I want to be able to see that instance? I'm going to leave that as selected for now because it can help with troubleshooting and bug fixing. Um, but you can have the option to switch that off too. So if I click save there. So once Excel is launched, what do we need to do? Well, we're going to have to read the value that's contained in cell A3 from the Excel worksheet. So if I go to my action search and type in read from, I can see here I've got the read from Excel action. And again, I drag and drop that over onto my Power Automate flow. It's asking me what I want to do. What do I want to retrieve? By default, I have the value of a single cell selected, which is exactly what I need. So all I need to do now is tell Power Automate in which Excel cell we need to look. And that's going to be cell A3. So it's going to look in cell A3 and store that value in the Excel data variable. So I'm going to click save again. So we've now got hold of the value of A3. We've got hold of the region and the period in which the sales data relates to. We want to use that information now to rename each Excel spreadsheet. So if I go back to my actions, I'm now going to look for the rename file action. I'm going to drag and drop that onto my routine. And it's asking me which file I need to rename. Well, that's simply going to be the current file. It's asking me what I want to do. I want to set the new name. And the new name will be the value that are stored into the Excel data variable. I've got keep extension selected because I want to keep the XLSX file extension. So all I'm going to do now 
is click on save. So there is one final thing I want to do before we run this routine. And all I'm going to do is make sure that we close Excel. So the rename action can take place. I'm just going to leave the default options, default parameters as they are and click save. So now let's go ahead and run our routine. So if we go to our sales figures folder, as the routine runs through, you'll be able to see here that the files are beginning to rename. So I can see I've got the North region renamed here. So we've got August 23, February 23 and March 23 for the North region. We've got the East region, November 23, August 23. So you can start to see all those files coming through with their new names based on the region and the date. So we'll continue to let that run through, but I hope you can use this for other examples, other challenges, other problems that you're trying to solve in your day-to-day -day work. If you have any comments or questions, do leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on Power Automate and other Microsoft 365 features. But till then, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you soon.